What's up guys, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. In this video guys, I'm going to show you how to get, how to farm Grand Company Seals without gathering or crafting cla uh, classes. So, for those out there who have no desire to craft, no desire to gather, which I can't understand why you wouldn't, there is a way to farm Grand Company Seals. And that is by grinding a specific dungeon called Brayflock's Hard, uh, Long Stop Hard Mode. Now, this dungeon is an uh, old level 50 when we're born dungeon. It has one of the least mobs in the dungeon. It's very farmable, and you can do it by yourself. So, first you want to go into the duty finder. You want to go up to this little gear icon up here. You want to select undersized party, which will allow you to do it at your item level, so you don't get synced down to that dungeon's item level. And you can do it with any amount of party members. So, after you click that, you hit confirm. Go over to the dungeon select and hit Brave Fox Long Stop Hard Mode. So I'm going to show you guys where the treasures are and how to burst through these mobs without really killing yourself. Now, the first set of mobs are going to be a bunch of raptors, goblins, and coral cats. The goal here is to kill the coral cat first because that sucker gives you a paralysis. And believe me, you don't want to get paralyzed. out of the way, now you get the other few mobs and then you take them out. Alright, move on to the next set. Make sure you kill that uh, the coral or you're going to get paralyzed and then you grab the rest. I tried pulling everything at once, but unfortunately I was overwhelmed, so I had unfortunate to do this in sets of two. pretty much do this with any class, but I believe that dragoons, black mages, summoners, I think white mages actually have it easy because of their high burst damage and crazy AoE, especially with holy with, with the sun effect, so. Alright, so I always take down the boss, which won't take very long. Ignoring all mechanics. One, two, three, and then you collect it all for yourself. Move on to the next set, which will be the goblins. Do not pull the raptor, that's unnecessary mobs you don't need them to deal with. Go ahead and pull all the goblins together. Flax to get her butt up here. Open the secret entrance. While she's doing that, you want to run up this structure here to get the second tra second treasure. 
This will always drop an accessory. If you get aggro, just ignore them. Run to the next area. They won't be able to follow you. Boss again to zerg him down, ignoring all the mechanics. treasure this next one will be on the left here past the little coral cat you get this treasure over here it's always will have an accessory and we move on to the little next and final area So, ignore the big cat down there, it won't aggro you as long as you aren't uh, beyond this, in this area, he won't come get you, he won't uh, aggro you. Try to avoid using any major cooldowns before this boss because you most likely will be needing as much abilities as possible. The only annoying part of this boss is that if you don't do enough DPS, he'll just start doing his roundabout around the arena and the bombs, and then he'll do it right after when he comes back because his HP is so low. So try to train as much as possible. If you can't, then you have to go to all three cycles in order to take him out. So you couldn't take him out, so just got to go through this. Back in. All right. So depending on your DPS, this can take from 10 minutes to even eight minutes, maybe even less, depending on your on your DPS and your skill level and your gear. So you get to your last chest, and you have a good chance to actually get the baby Opa Opa minion, which I've already gotten. So, any other, any ones I get from now on are just basically uh, sellable. So, no minion, but that's all the gear you pretty much can get in Bray Fox hard mode. Now, you can do that by yourself, or if you have a free company member who wants to come for the ride and help you out, and doesn't mind passing in the loot, you can do that and get it done twice as fast. So, after that, you go to your grand company, and then you turn in all your gear. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of gear, and each of them is 403 uh, seals. So, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, so about 2,000. 400 and three six nine twelve so uh, you get over about over 2,000 um, grand company seals in less than 10 minutes so basically that is what you do if 
to um, farm Grand Company seals. It's very uh, quick, easy, and it's about over 2,000 seals every 10 minutes, maybe less if you're good. If your DPS is great, and depending on your class. It took me about a, a couple of minutes to get that last boss because it's a stupid mechanic. And of course, I didn't really go all out on my on my uh, rotation in the mob spot, so time is varied. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to a uh, fellow YouTuber slash Twitch streamer who inspired this video because he was doing the same thing in his stream that kind of tr that kind of like gave me the idea to do this video, showing you guys how to farm Grand Company seals with just battle classes. So I want to give a quick shout out to Very underscore Mary for giving me this great um, this great idea for this video. I uh, will uh, put his um, Twitter handle up on the screen here. Just put type that into, into YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, and you guys can follow him. He's a great YouTuber. He's very funny, and he's very entertaining to watch. And his videos are hilarious. So guys, give him uh, give him a quick look out. You know, check him out, and tell you tell him that Zane Lineheart uh, sent you. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to my channel for more Fall Fantasy XIV videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, may you all walk in the light of Lord Bahama. Take care guys.